Okay. Jesus Christ. So Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Spider-Man 2 both came out today, and I don't really have enough time to give these games their own videos, so uh, we're, we're just gonna combine both reviews into one video. Uh, yeah. It'll work. This will work. I've been anticipating Super Mario Bros. Wonder since the day I was conceived. Now, the new Super Series really made us hate 2D Mario for a while there, you know, for being bland and uninteresting, yada, yada, yada. You've heard this before. But Wonder here says, nah, we ain't about that. You're getting a new art style, some new power-ups, and just wait until you're swinging around New York City with Miles Morales. It's amazing how Insomniac managed to bring over the best elements from the previous two Spider-Man games, uh, those games being Miles Morales and Spider-Man PS4, of course, uh, releasing for the DS back in 2006. Oh, also, don't worry about any major spoilers, guys. I, I didn't have time to finish these games. In fact, I'm still trying to beat them as we speak. I can't even begin to describe how fluid the web swinging feels. It, it, it really makes you feel like Elephant Mario. Look how silly goofy this is. Insomniac has really outdone themselves here. Now, they actually switched up the plot to, uh, get this, Princess Peach does not get kidnapped, and instead, Harry Osborne takes over the Flower Kingdom with, oh, well, I'm guessing that's the Green Goblin. I gotta say, the level design really shines through with this game. New York City has never looked better. Onward and upward. This homeless man wants money from me. I'm just so happy Insomniac finally did something new with the 2D Mario franchise, and I know there's been a lot of controversy over redesigning Peter's face, but hot take, I think it looks pretty good. The mustache really suits him. Now, why they didn't call this Elephant Man is beyond me, but when you finally get to play as Spider Mario, let me tell you, you will be stomping through Goombas and other street thugs faster than you can say, wowie zowie. Now, one complaint I have is with the spin dash. They could have made it a little more intuitive like the web wings, and although introducing the new spray mechanic with the elephant fruit helped a lot, they still brought back Sand Hill Zone, which really pissed me off. So overall, I was disappointed with Sonic Superstars.